The idea of lost media fascinates me, especially in this day and age, as something that is shown on TV or uploaded to a video platform can vanish out of sight. That something you enjoyed as a kid and watched every week or day is nowhere to be seen, and even in some cases, record of its existence is scarce and even potentially non-existent. Welcome to five lost Australian television shows. Rev up your Saturday mornings with The Riff, live from 10.30am, only on V. The Riff was a television show that aired live every Saturday at 10.30am on Channel V. As of the 12th of August 2013, it also aired Monday to Friday at 5pm, just not in its usual live format. The Wikipedia page for the riff seems to sell it short by just stating it was an Australian music video request television show. However, it was more of a show about music and pop culture. It was also a panel show that included interviews and segments about current events in the entertainment world. The Riff debuted on the 9th of December of 2010, and the final episode was aired in 2015. Although there is no number floating around as to how many episodes the show had, it did celebrate its 100th episode on the 6th of April 2013. As with any show, the list of hosts did change. The original hosts of The Riff were Billy Russell, Danny Clayton, Kyle Linehan and Jane Gazzo. In 2011, Carissa Wolford replaced Kyle Linehan and in 2012, Marty Smiley won a presenter search and joined the show, replacing Jane Gazzo. When the show returned in January 2014, Billy Russell was no longer listed. Danny Clayton remained the only one of the hosts to last the entire run of the show. The most controversial moment came in February 2015 when Carissa interviewed Kahole and Dino on the show after he won the Australian Open of Surfing. Danny responded to the interview by telling Kahole live on the air to stay the fuck away from his then girlfriend Zoe Cross and to stop texting her. Awesome, thank you so much for having a chat. Back to you, Danny. I hope you wrote down those tips. Yeah, look, uh, I've got some tips for Chloe too, actually. That stay the fuck away from my girlfriend. I've seen the text you've been sending her and they're making her feel uncomfortable. But thanks, Carissa. And uh, as you mentioned, we're going to have a huge show at the Australian Open of... Very little is available about the riff if you do a Google search. IMDB does not even have it listed. I reached out to V Music to see if there was any way I could find the episodes, but was told they did not have them published anywhere due to them not having legal clearance to do so. They also implied they actually have every episode on a hard drive, they're just unable to use them. It's worth noting that on the 26th of February 2016, V was merged with B Hits and ceased its run as a standalone channel. This was a decision that was said to be a long time coming. Ironically, YouTube was said to play a part in its demise, with viewers watching music there instead of on television. But it does raise the question, would the riff still be around today if the channel didn't see the end coming? Creature Features was an Australian children's show that was produced by the ABC, also known as the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. It began broadcasting, according to the ABC Wikipedia, on the 9th of September 2002. 
Scanning the ABC Television Guide shows that new episodes were no longer aired after the 2nd of June 2008, at which they appear to be replaced by Bindi Irwin's show, Bindi the Jungle Girl. Reruns of Creature Features continue to run on ABC and ABC2, but these stopped on the 21st of November 2009. Like The Riff, it also has no IMDb page, but interestingly enough, the show itself also has no Wikipedia page. The interesting part about Creature Features is that although it lasted almost six years, only one full episode of the show still exists, with part of a second and a few small segments also found on YouTube. The station's explanation of the show is a live-action magazine-style program which provides an entertaining insight into the world of animals, pets, and their carers. Nick Hardcastle was the host between 2002 and 2007. According to his Wikipedia, Adam Saunders was added as co-host from 2005 to 2006. However, the Wayback Machine shows Nick exclusively on the website for the show until March 2007, at which time Nick was removed from the website and listed Adam as the only host. Although perhaps saying Nick and Adam were the only hosts of the show really is an insult to their co-host who was there through the entire series. This is a feline puppet named Moda Galena Esmeralda Olga Widebottom, or Meow. Rarely though, she was most commonly known as Moddy. Moddy was originally featured on another Australian children's show called The Ferals, which ran from 1994 to 1995. Throughout the run of the show, Moddy had her own bio listed on the website. Very little is still available when searching for creature features. Most of the results actually refer to the horror TV format that ran in the 1960s to the 1980s. However, there are two complaints that the ABC received about the show that can still be found. There were nothing major, one from the 22nd of May 2008 that showed inaccurate information about poodles on the pet facts page. The other from the 5th of June 2008 referred to a rhinoceros beetle being referred to as a giant burrowing cockroach. Both pages are still viewable on the Wayback Machine. Also available on the Wayback Machine are most of the games that were available when the show was still on air and you can still play most of them to this day by the Wayback Machine. Pick Your Face was an Australian children's game show that aired on the Nine Network between 2009 and 2003. Angus Smallwood was the host for the entire run of the show. The same structure was used for each episode. Each episode opened with Angus meeting the three contestants for the episode backstage. When the show begins, all three contestants race to dig through giant noses on the wall in order to find items that will lead to the name of a celebrity. Each player has a different celebrity. They have 45 seconds in order to get all of the clues. The correct answer receives 10 points. Next is the first pick your face round. Four pictures are placed on a board but they are missing their mouth, eyes and nose. The first three are celebrities and the last is the player that is playing. Between rounds one and two, player one attempts to solve the puzzle, again in 45 seconds. Between rounds two and three, player two. And between rounds three and four, player three. Each correct answer here is worth five points. Round 2 consisted of each contestant watching their own photo morph into a celebrity. 
As soon as the contestant knows who the celebrity is, they yell, stop. If they are correct, they get one point for each second left on the clock, which starts at 30 seconds. The third round was another picture of a celebrity, but this time with six caricature-like features superimposed onto the picture. Each player asks a yes or no question and gets to continue asking until they receive a no, and then the next player gets to ask, and so on. Every yes removes one of the features. The person who correctly guesses gets 10 points. The last round is a true or false trivia round. Each contestant is standing next to a hanging eyeball. In order to answer the question, they must reach up to touch the eyeball, which then lights up. Each correct answer gives the contestant 5 points. In spite of the show producing 196 episodes over 5 seasons, only 2 episodes and clips remain. The show is on Wikipedia and IMDb, but it does not appear to have an official website to even put in the Wayback Machine. What you writing, what you feeling, what you wishing for, what you painting, what you hearing, what you waiting for, what you know and what you want, what you don't. Before Agro's cartoon connection, there was Wombat. Wombat ran for 12 seasons between 1979 and 1990, picked up a bunch of awards, including multiple Logies, which is essentially the Australian version of the Emmys, picking up the most popular children's program consecutively between 1987 and 1990. Also, according to Trove's National Library of Australia, it was nominated for a Media Peace Prize in 1987. According to the show's IMDb and Wikipedia, it also won a United Nations Media Peace Award in 1988, although this isn't confirmable. The records for United Nations Media Peace Awards, in Australia at least, only go back to 2000. Despite this success, episodes of both Wombat and Agra's Cartoon Connection remain few and far between, with Wombat only having a single episode available on YouTube, despite it running for 12 seasons. Wombat, unlike Cartoon Connection, was a kids show covering many different topics, airing on Channel 7 on weekday afternoons and later on the weekends. Despite this and its popularity, the episode count and end date are unknown, with credits only given for two episodes on IMDb. The one episode that is available gives us information about the structure of the show. There are segments called Wombat Watches, where a photo of viewers is shown and they're given a prize pack. Knock Knock, where Stephanie tells a knock knock joke. Comp Spot, where people who are chosen win a prize. Cooking Tips, which is self explanatory. And a segment about phobias, which isn't confirmed to be a regular segment. Other small clips from the show are floating around YouTube, mainly existing in compilations. Like its predecessor, Boris's Breakfast Club, of which Agro and Anne Marie from Cartoon Connection appeared alongside in at least one episode of the Super Sunday show. Hopes for its preservation are few and far between. A user called Flemish Dog uploaded outtakes from Wombat, which still exists in a collection on the Wayback Machine, but the channel has since been terminated. It was common practice during this time for television stations to reuse videotapes to cut back on costs, or sometimes just destroy videotapes altogether to clear out space. Because of this, the likelihood of finding any more episodes is very high, as the only way you'd be likely to find episodes is through old personal VHS tapes, as there were never any physical releases of any kind.
Passed Away was the name of the second season of an outback teen drama called Trapped. Same characters, nearly the exact same cast, just the other half of the story, and technically separate shows. Despite neither Trapped nor Cast Away getting a physical release, Trapped is fully online. The show stars Maya Mitchell, who previously found fame as Britney and Mortified, and has since appeared in Disney's Teen Beach movie and Freeform's The Fosters. Strangely enough, Cast Away premiered in Sweden before it was shown in Australia, with Sweden seeing it in late 2010 and Australia seeing it in early 2011 on Channel 7, which is made even stranger when you look at the Screen Australia Guide, which states filming was completed in 2009. It's not all lost, and neither is hope for it being found. The first three episodes exist via the Northway TV YouTube channel, and the final two episodes also exist currently on YouTube. So if you want to know what happens in the end, you can find out, as long as you're okay with missing just over 20 episodes in between. A full guide to the episodes also exists on Wikipedia. Northway TV, who uploaded the first three episodes of Castaway, made the show. The screen on Channel 7 wasn't the only time it was ever shown in Australia. It was repeated on multiple occasions, with the last known repeat of the series being in 2013. Northway shut down in 2014, which could be a possible reason as to why it hasn't been shown since, and partly explaining its potential obscurity. Hope for finding the series is greatly increased by the fact that despite there being no physical copies released, they were for sale as video files on the 17 South website between 2012 and 2017, roughly. And the fact that all of Trapped, his predecessor, is online, greatens the chance. Because if you were a big enough fan, you just might have purchased them all.